hello so in the previous video we saw how to set the location of the block and how to create a simple block in this video we are going to see the other detailed options and settings that are available with the block like where to show the block where not to show the block and so on so let's get started with this video of the different settings of our block now the next part is what all we can do with the block now whenever you have a block with Drupal 10 this is an interesting feature which I can directly work on our blocks or different sections or pages directly I can configure remove or edit the block directly from here so let's go to the configure block directly so this block configuration has come up directly from here now copyright information this is the title if you want you can use that if you don't want to display that title showing up over here you can remove that this is the title of the block if it is not required you can remove that okay now coming back to our block now here visibility this is the interesting part this says not restricted roles not restricted content type and vocabulary so basically this allows us to define where the block can show and where the block should not show show for listed pages now nothing is listed over here so it will show everywhere i can decide to show the block on different locations if you read this message specify the path with asterisk character as a wildcard for example user slash asterisk for every user page or under that now here there is an option of just show it on the front page so if i enter front over here fine and save the block what happens is when i am on home page the block will show up but if i go to some other page like if i am viewing about us or something you will notice the block does not show up so i have been able to restrict that block where it can be shown by simply configuring that particular block okay now let's go back to our home page and again let's say configure block now what i can do is i could show this block on a specific page or let us say here if we go to our content right i've created some pages which have a path if we go to this you will see the path is cms slash drupal this is a bit confusing but this is the part of my localhost cms slash drupal is the path so i can use the path cms slash asterisk to show up the block under whenever there is a path cms and anything below that so let's try that also so front i can add multiple of them i can add the other one over here so combination i can do slash cms slash asterisk fine now we can invert this height for the listed pages so it will invert in that way so you can try out when you work on this now i have saved this so you can see it is coming on the home page it is not coming on the about us page but if i go to cms slash any one of these fine any one of these zoomla it should show up so it's showing up over here so i can control where the block should show up or it should not show up by putting these values fine this is one thing second is roles though we have not discussed roles there are different kind of roles that are available on Drupal. Some I have created for testing purpose. Primarily you have anonymous, authenticated and administrator. These are the roles that are there. So I can decide that who can see this. So anonymous user or authentic authenticated user is a person who is logged in. So if I set it for authenticated user, that means the block will only be visible for people who are logged in, fine. Any user who is logged in is authenticated. So all the other roles are usually provided only when this thing. So role basically defines what access rights uh, people are going to have on the website and what they can do. So authenticated user is one simple rule, default present by 
the Drupal system. So over here, if I set it to authenticated user, right, you will notice it is visible now on all the pages because we have removed the pages restriction. But if I go into a new private window and I go to localhost slash Drupal, we will not see that copyright block because I am not logged in. That means I am not an authenticated user. Fine. So this way I can set it for user. So let's just try again. Let's go to this and configure the block and on roles. Let's when user has the following. So if I removed everything, it is applicable for all. Now let's try that again and we will see that the block is visible again. So this is the second part for your block that we can set. Let's see what else is there with the block configure block. Then content type. So content type basically article or basic pages. Now this is like what we had done over here by giving a path here. Since the path is user defined, we don't want to show or we want to show this basically on articles only. Whenever there is a content type which was created with article, we will show it up over here. Now save block. Fine. So once I've saved the block, you see it's not showing up on Joomla. But uh, we had created one on uh, CMS slash media wiki which we had created we was on uh, this thing let's see i'm not sure if i gave the path let's go to the content and here media wiki i don't think we gave the path fine now you can see media wiki is coming up let's edit this and let's give it a path also we have not given a path so slash cms slash media wiki fine but this is a content type of article so i'm going to save this and nothing to do with the path i just wanted to add it here we should see the copyright block and if we are on any other page we will not see the copyright block so basically this block can be controlled on the basis of your content types also so let's remove this Okay, and the last one over here, what we have is vocabulary. Now, vocabulary basically is about the tags or taxonomy terms or categories or keywords. We'll discuss about them later on. But by default, there, there, are, there is a set of tags or keywords which are under the tags category A vocabulary we have. This you might have noticed we have used in our article. Article content type supports us to have these tags okay now cms media wiki the tags i have used over here now uh, this is a bit confusing like con vocabulary tags so many people assume that as soon as you say vocabulary tags what's going to happen is any article page or other content type which is using the vocabulary will work but it is not like that what happens with vocabulary it's a kind of categorization mechanism so if I click on any of these tags. What happens is uh, Drupal is going to list me all the pages that are using the term tag or uh, term CMS from the vocabulary tags. Okay. Now here there is only one article it's showing up. Otherwise more of them would have shown up over here. Same things. Now this copyright information shows up whenever we are viewing this structure by clicking on any of the tags which are associated with the vocabulary tags fine so it shows up over here and not with the content that is using the tags fine so over here we have this not showing up and when i am getting the list of all the content which is using these keywords under the vocabulary tags it shows up so this way you can configure your blocks more configuration and other blocks we will see as when we create them with some automated processes views or something else so that's it about the blocks try it out 
try out all the options negating the block values and other things okay so that is it for blocks